Hey guys, it's Jessica Rosiniak here, and it is already week three of Nails Magazine's Next Top Nail Artist competition. This week is brought to us by La Chat, and the name of the challenge is Nails Are My Superpower. So, we were asked to use the 3-in-1 Gelé Powder and their nail architecture brushes to make five nail tips to describe our superpower. And I decided that my superpower is that I'm a bug whisperer. So I'm so excited to show you guys and let's go check it out. Here we go. So we are beginning with Le Chat's Gelée 3 in 1 powders. And to start off, I on a piece of wax paper with my first nail tip, I used some gel and I put over the nude color and we sugared it. So sugaring is going to be nail art technique number one and it gives a really cool matte texture and it's also really nice for building up some layers and to give it some shape. Then here I'm using a custom color mixed with the powders to make some hair. And then I went in with the same powders in different colors and then I added some structure to the face to make it 3D. Next up, add an acrylic based skirt and dress and she is all done. Now we are moving on to a technique that I learned from my homegirl Ellie G. You mix the liquid and powder together in a disposable cup and then lay it out and then you can use an orange wood stick to roll it out and it gives you a nice even texture to work with. And look it, while I was working on my project, this cute little bug just came and hung out with me. If this doesn't say that I'm a bug whisperer for real, for real, I don't know what even would. Look at this little dude. We're just hanging out being best friends. Can you even handle it? Look at that, look at it, look at it, look at it. Oh my gosh, so cool. Okay, anyways. And next we are going to start nail art tip number two. That is going to be liquid and powder painting. So when it comes to painting with liquid and powder, you want to keep all of your layers nice and thin so we're not going to be adding too much bulk or structure to the look. Now here I'm making a tree trunk, and tree trunks are really organic looking, so there's really no right or, right or wrong way to do it. So I'm just going over thinly with my custom color that I mixed with even parts of blue, yellow, and red, and I'm making sure to keep it nice and thin, and then I'm going to go over it with acrylic paint to get some detail. Next up, nail art tip number three is going to be liquid and powder sculpting. So with the sculpting, I'm going over tin foil to give the foliage of the tree. And then here, I like to keep it a little bit wet, the powder um, to monomer ratio, just so I can evenly cover the tin foil. And then later on, we're gonna go back over it with a little bit thicker beads and then give it some texture with the brush. We're gonna be stippling that in. And then we're gonna be mixing between the clear and this green color here. And here is the finished look of the tree. So cute, and I also added a little fly in there because he's hanging out with us too. So now we're going to start with our third nail tip, and I am just using an X-Acto knife and cutting this in half, and we're making it into wings. This is going to be a lightning bug. And then we're going to be painting it with a custom color mixed with those equal parts again, and then we're gonna be sugaring it on top. And um, then I know that a lot of people call them fireflies, but this homegirl is from the Midwest, so I call it a lightning bug. Next up, so I do not use too many tips in this project, I am covering a nail tip in tin foil and using hard gel to form the body of the lightning bug. I'm going to then sugar on top the glow in the dark powder. And then I'm going to repeat the same process um, only on half of the nail with red. And that's going to make the lightning bug's head. Next up, we're going to take all of the pieces that we made and connect them together on a sewing needle. And then once I have them in the place that I like them, I secure it with a bead of acrylic and do some detailing. And he glows in the dark so cute. And his wings move. Such a cute little lightning bug. All right, next is my homegirl Cheeto. She was a spider that lived on my porch and I love her so much. So anyways, we are going to take some Play-Doh, cover it in a ball on a nail tip, 
and then use the nail art number, the nail art technique number three, the sculpting with liquid and powder to build her booty. And then we're going to use some wire and attach them with acrylic as well. And then on top of the nail tip, we're going to add her head and eyes and her little fangs. And then we're gonna decorate the nail tips. And then we're going to be doing that painting technique again with liquid and powder to give some detail. Now she was a marbled ore weaver and the marbling on them is generally symmetrical but it isn't perfectly symmetrical. So I wasn't being too concerned if it was perfect, I just wanted it to look as if it were sort of symmetrical here. And then once I was done painting this part, I went over top of it with some clear acrylic and smoothed everything over and then she was done and she's such a cutie. And then now on nail tip number five, I am going to be using the purple rain color and sculpting the body of a beetle. Next, I'm going to be using that sugaring technique to make the beetle's legs and head. And then I will be attaching them onto her with his acrylic as well. And as you can see, as the acrylic gets warm, it turns this really pretty blue color. It's so neat. All right, and here is the finished look of me being a bug whisperer. I hope you guys had fun watching this video. I had so much fun making these nails. Um, thank you for Nails Magazine, and thank you to the chat for hosting this challenge. And we are going to have it voting live um, this evening. So once the description goes live, I will post it in the comment box below. And if you can give me a vote, that would be awesome. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.